Good morning and happy Sunday, church family. It's Pastor Brad, and I'm here again with your weekly Sunday update. Just a little opportunity for me to pop into your news feeds for just a little bit before we gather together as a church family and kind of let you know a little bit about things that are going on, things that are on my heart, just catch you up to speed with where we're at or, or sometimes where I'm at with things. I don't know if you were able to read our weekly update that went out yesterday through the email, but on that one, I did share a, a really neat story, at least neat to me. I got to be uh, at my brother's wedding this week and shared a little bit about that as an update for me. And this week, I wanna let you know, I want you to help you to anticipate and invite you and encourage you to connect in on another really neat thing that's happening next Sunday. I wanted to do this this week to give you time to see if maybe even you would like to participate. And that is next Sunday, during our regular morning gathering time, we're going to be highlighting and hosting a baptism service. Now, baptism is this thing that is done, that's something that, that Jesus commands us to do. We see throughout scripture, it's a way of identifying with who Christ is, what he's done, and our commitment to follow him with all our hearts. It's one of those things that Jesus says, do this. And we call it an ordinance. And we've, we've talked about that before as a church family. I'd be happy to discuss that with you more if you have questions. But I want to read just a little passage from the book of Acts. And what we see here is we see this, uh, the Apostle Philip, and he's with an Ethiopian official, what's called an Ethiopian eunuch. And the eunuch is reading the Bible, and, and, and Philip runs up to him and, and asks him if he understands what, what he's reading. And the official replies, no, I don't. How can I unless someone tells me? And then Philip hops into his chariot and shares with him, well, let me just read for you what happens. And this is chapter 8 and verse 35. It says, then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with the scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus. He proclaimed the good news. And if you know anything about me, church family, I love to talk about the good news. It says, as they were going along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, see, here is water. Uh, what prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop and they both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. See, what, one of the things I love about this account in scripture is, is what I think is a beautiful pattern. It's that when we encounter the good news and when we, we have a belief, a, a change of loyalty and authority to the truth of the gospel, to the truth of the one about whom the gospel is written and told, that when we have this change of authority to Jesus, when we cross over from death to life, when my good friend uh, Tim Hodge says, when you change your eternal destiny, when you change your eternal address, what happens then is this beautiful thing called baptism, or what should happen is this beautiful thing called baptism. I think in the past we've we've pushed and we've uh, we've kind of put parameters around it that are a little bit more than what the Bible says because there's no big time of getting to know what you need to know. There's no big time of becoming a better Christian, a better Jesus follower. When someone gives their life to Jesus, we see that just immediately thereafter baptism comes in. So in our culture, we haven't always done that. We've kind of given a, a waiting time. But when we see scripture, it says, hey, if you give your life to Jesus, you get baptized. It's just one flows after the other. So if you're at the point where you have chosen to follow Jesus, and yet so far you haven't followed Jesus in the obedience of baptism, I want to encourage you, reach out to me, because we would love, if possible, to get you connected. And even this coming Sunday, to what we're going to be doing with our baptism celebration. That being said, church family, looking forward to seeing you at 10 o'clock this morning in person, online, however you can connect, because that's what Sundays are. That's us connecting together in worship of the one who deserves our worship. That's what we're going to do, and it's going to be grand. I want you to know I'm going to see you again real soon.